All right, everyone, that just about does it for our discussion on the science of protein. To wrap up, I want to provide eight of the most important takeaways. Number one, for most adults, a protein intake in the range of 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight per day should be consumed to support overall health. Older adults, athletes, and people who want to lose weight while sustaining lean body mass should consume 1.6 grams per kilogram per day or more. Protein needs should be calculated based on lean body mass or an adjusted body weight that reflects a healthy body fat percentage. This is typically around 12 to 15% for men and 20% for women. This means that if you're not at your ideal weight, you should determine your protein requirements using the target weight you're aiming to achieve. Number two, when it comes to protein timing, the so-called anabolic window after exercise isn't as narrow as once to believe. Consuming protein either before or after a workout is effective, but also just focusing on total daily protein intake is what is most important for optimizing resistance training gains. Number three, it is ideal to try and distribute your protein intake evenly across the day. Aim for around three to four protein-rich meals, each containing around 20 to 25 grams of high quality protein to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. For older adults, increasing each meal's protein content to 20 to 30 grams may be advantageous due to their higher protein needs and anabolic resistance. But remember that total daily protein intake is much more important than how protein is distributed throughout the day. Number four, consuming protein before bed, a practice known as pre-sleep protein intake. This can be particularly beneficial for older adults and athletes. This strategy enhances overnight muscle protein synthesis and aids in muscle recovery. It contributes to better muscle health and performance. Number five, for those considering protein supplementation, high quality sources like whey and casein proteins are excellent options. Whey protein is rapidly digested and effective at stimulating muscle protein synthesis, making it a great choice post-exercise or even before bed to provide additional boost of amino acids. Casein protein digests more slowly, providing a prolonged release of amino acids. Even if you're meeting your protein needs through diet alone, supplementation can offer targeted benefits such as supporting recovery during sleep or after very intense exercise. Number six, animal proteins are generally superior to plant proteins for maximizing muscle protein synthesis due to their higher protein density better digestibility, and complete essential amino acid profiles, particularly their leucine content. However, vegetarians and vegans can still meet their protein needs by consuming larger quantities of plant-based proteins, diversifying their protein sources, and incorporating plant-based protein isolates and concentrates to ensure they get all their essential amino acids. Number seven, concerns about high protein intake harming healthy kidneys are largely unfounded for individuals without pre-existing kidney issues. And finally, number eight, despite some schools of thought in the longevity field that higher protein intakes may reduce longevity or promote cancer growth, the available evidence in humans just isn't convincing enough. Exercise positively influences how the body uses amino acids and growth factors like IGF-1 and proteins like mTOR, directing them towards the muscle and brain health where they're most beneficial.